hello everyone welcome back to my channel plan 3d tutorial and i hope you guys are all doing well because since it are like it is a long time since we have met and also i want to thank you all for the support and the love which you guys comment in my videos watch my videos and thank you for everything and also like i have seen many people commenting about to create a video about the spec creation so here it is your wait is over and this spec creation will have around like three four parts probably so uh, so this is the first part and this will just be a basic thing like how to create the pipe or and some simple components and just give you an idea and if from the next part we will have a proper spec side by side which will be watching that and creating exactly what it is okay so uh, and also we'll be having in future we'll having parts where we create the custom parts like which are not available in our catalog we'll get that in the future parts so in this video we'll get the basic idea about the spec creation so let us begin without wasting any more time okay so i have the spec editor screen here in my pc so you can see that like we have some options here which are being displayed like uh, we have like create open create from existing then we have like some catalogs and all so what is spec spec is the thing which we which we include in our plan 3d okay so this items contain what is what is necessary for the project so here if you have want to create a new spec here it is and if you want to open an existing spec you can use the open option and if you want to create from an existing spec which you already have probably in some uh, past projects which you have done so you can use this option and the catalog create from existing and you want to create a separate catalog like this catalog helps like uh, in future if you want to use the same catalog to create other specs so if you have want to create a custom catalog you can create that catalog is nothing like you will have a parts in standard parts which you can from uh, which you can use them in your in your specs for example if you confuse about the catalog you will get it cleared i'll just give an example here we have asme piping and fitting catalogs so as per asme we will have all the piping and fittings in this catalog which we can use in our spec okay so so right now since we are making a new uh, a new spec i'll select the create option in few, yeah in future we'll see how to edit the existing spec and all for right now let us create a spec so i have clicked on create mm, i think it's opening okay so right now it's now it's asking me what is the spec name i write a uh, test spec and the location where you want to save the spec uh, you can uh, you can use your project uh, location wherever it is so i'll i'll just keep it to the uh, to the default location and later on i'll just uh, copy it to my to my project from the plan 3d or else we can directly use it uh, you can directly use the uh, spec location but i just want to show you guys how you can copy other specs to the, your projects as well so i'll just keep it in the uh, default location so any description you have anything description you can write it you write it here I'll just write xyz anything and the catalog if you want to load right now you can load the catalogs here and or else you will have an option there uh, in few in the in the spec creator as well so i'll just leave it and i'll just click on create here we have the spec editor opened so so you can see here uh, the location of the spec and we have the description xyz which we have mentioned in the date and everything that is 15th october and next year you can see this empty screen so this will display the the parts which the spec contains since this is a new spec we don't have any parts in this as we keep on adding our parts it will get displayed here so whatever is here will be displayed in your uh, in your plan 3d project so first and here we have the ribbon bar kind of stuff where we have the save option print option and uh, export to excel everything where you can export this spec into the excel okay we have file edit spec 
will get to know about this you need not go deep dive into this stuff uh, let us know what is important in our projects and rather than learning unnecessary things okay first we'll learn what is important for our project so here you can see we have three tabs one is the spec editor as i said and the next is branch table editor so you if you are a piping designer or a piping engineer whoever like you have if you have a piping knowledge you know what is a branch table so as and every spec uh, uh, in a project will have its own uh, own branching table so we have we can add those branch tables here so that like whenever uh, we have branches we can see which branch it has to take like if i have to take a t or a stub in or reducing t or whatever so it will take uh, as per the branch uh, table which we have mentioned here but we won't uh, study this in this part because it will will continue this in the next part so in this the creation part we will learn only about how to make the components okay so next coming to the catalog editor so this is important here you can see we don't have anything because if you see when i was creating the uh, creating the spec there was an option like to select the catalog i did not select any catalog because i wanted to select from here okay uh, in the beginning also you can select uh, but i am selecting from here so if you click on open catalog there are some default catalogs from uh, autocad uh, which will be located here uh, let me open this you can see that autocad uh, and this will be defaultly opening no need to worry it will be in your c drive in the autocad plan 3d uh, in the folder so c pack asme so which catalog do i want asme pipe and fitting because i am going to create pipes and fittings and for valves there is a separate catalog okay so first in this uh, we'll want cover valves now we'll just cover some pipes and fittings okay so i am selecting this catalog and open it will open now yeah ah yes now you can see that i have i'll uh, just Uh, extend this a little bit okay yeah you can see that i have the catalog uh, displayed here in the catalog name cat name of the catalog displayed here and have so, and i have so many components here including pipe nipples flanges gaskets everything in the catalog so i don't have to make anything by manually i can just take this and put it in my spec okay so first component first component is what we'll make a pipe uh, i mean we'll add a pipe to our spec uh, so what i'll do is uh, i'll select i want a pipe so you can see here we have uh, for our catalog we have a filter here like size range long family short description material material code and rest of the stuff here so for example like now right now i want a pipe so uh, what i'll go is i'll first every time you make sure you just if you are taking parts from a uh, from the catalog and you can just filter out the pipe uh, here is the pipe so here pipe okay not this one uh, this was like i had created before so i'll just remove it uh, for example if you want to remove anything you can remove default things it's better you don't uh, edit anything since this is what i had made in the past i don't want it now now i'll just remove it from the catalog okay so here we have uh, in the catalog we have like seamless pipe and welded pipe i want a seamless pipe okay so this many options are there in the catalog so for example if you want a seamless pipe of schedule 10 plane end and material a106 then you can go for this one and the size range is here like from 1 by 8 inch to 36 inch you have the pipe okay so if you want some other schedules you can select it from here but i won't uh, i won't use it from the catalog since i want to show you how to create something new if it is not present in the catalog so here if you see uh, schedule 40 pipe is not available okay so right now i want a schedule 40 pipe uh, starting like uh, any size like uh, for example i will create only one size pipe and later you can continue for whatever you want
okay now i want to use the catalog thing i just showed you how to use the catalog okay so let me see uh, let me create a new component you can see here we have three tabs one is create new component duplicate component delete component as you can see delete component is nothing you select this and you create the delete component the entire gets thing gets deleted duplicate you want to duplicate of the component like see it's all asking me the file name i click this and i click the duplicate component and it is asking me to enter the new name or else it will take the same name with iphone copy in it i'll just cancel it okay so i'll just create a new component new component we get a new new screen here and what is that in the in this scroll bar uh, what we have here is fittings miscellaneous components the type of component which you can you want to create you can select it from here so i want to create a pipe so i am selecting a pipe and what is the units of your project if you remember my previous video like while creation of the project we will select like imperial or metric units of our projects so i remember that i had created a metric uh, units project so i'll select a metric unit this you have to select based on your project so i'm selecting metric and this is pipe and the size range from which uh, from the starting till the end size you can you have to select it here even though you are not selecting it the end size you can add it uh, while creation of this spec here you can see the options are there i add size so i'm just creating one size pipe so i'll just like click on 25 i'll create a one inch size pipe 25 to 25 what is the end type it's a small bore pipe i'll just use the plain end short description short description of the i'll write let's like, uh, like uh, anything or like small bore pipe ah, okay so next graphics graphics what do you want if you have a custom block of that component no i want to use the standard uh, uh standard uh, blocks available in the plan 3d so what is the block you want to select so since it is a pipe i will i would like to select the pipe option which is this center one and just if you want you can see that one's option of the graphics like we have different options here no i want the graphics of a pipe uh, where it is it's here so this pipe and just click on create yeah she's showing me here uh, you can see that we have the small bore pipe in the catalog added here see short description is small bore pipe and the size range is 25 to 25 uh, that is 1 inch so first thing we have this here you can see here we have general properties and we have the sizes general properties is like uh, uh, like same for all the size of the pipe in this uh, in in this component this properties will remain same okay so here like the properties like what we add here is long description long description is nothing but like you add the like the pipe type like seamless pipe the rating and the schedule you can see here uh, in the catalog itself there for different components like elbow 90 degree schedule but weld here we can write plain end the the standard of the pipe like asme 36.1 Mm, carbon steel pipes something like that and next a compatible standard then a, that is a6 asme b 36.1 then manufacturer um, details material for example a106 material code i mean carbon we can write material as carbon steel material code a106 design standard pressure factor this things you need not worry you will get in the when you have the spec sheet in your hand you might have this detail or you can ask the engineer as well in the when you're working on a uh, on a live project and weight you want to keep it in pounds or kg you yeah. keep it in pounds and then cut length minimum cut length uh, what is minimum cut length like this is the minimum length of the pipe which you want to use uh, in in the project for example i have uh, like i want to use minimum length of the pipe as 1d so i'll just make it as 1d that is 25 so uh, length of the pipe minimum less than 25 won't be created so minimum is 25 what you have to give and next is the iso symbol and iso type sk this is important when you are creating the uh, the uh, the isometrics 
the symbol of the iso uh, parts what comes here is you have to enter this uh, iso symbol and s key so that uh, it can take from the background of the autocad the symbol which is already present but s key should be mentioned correctly from where you can get this s key i'll just let you know uh, in in a while okay so so this is about the description and next next if you can see here connection ports properties like you can see we have a two two ports for the pipe one is this and other is this port so since this is a pipe both port will remain the same so i'll i'll just check this box and next nominal unit is in mm then end is plain end of course and if you want like we can have different types of end here plain end beveled and threaded and free mail and mail socket weld flange and rest of the sink sink is a pipe i want a plain end flange standard gasket standard facing uh this shouldn't uh this shouldn't bother you for this since it is a, just a plain pipe you can measure, mention the scheduler what is the schedule schedule is 40 okay so um, yeah the uh, long description uh, yes so long description i'll just write uh, pipe uh, seamless and schedule 40 and uh, a 106 is the material so this is enough okay Or something xx material code everything you can mention here i'll just mention the long uh, long description see whatever you mention the long description then this family will show up in your bom of of your uh, uh, isometric you must have watched the my isometric video so you can check out the bom uh, what shows up in the isometric so this is what comes up there okay so let's now go to the sizes so this is what you mention in the general properties so next to the size we have one size because i have selected one size so here here also same thing for starting from this side all ports are same so i'll just check this box long long description size uh, i can write like uh, oh, what is that long this 1 inch small bore pipe item code weight linear weight uh, per meter length weights everything these things you can mention here unit length you have to mention here fixed length and you need not mention this you can just come up to this part and this is what this is the od of the od of the pipe what is the od for 1 inch pipe that will be 33.4 so next length uh length you can write it as minus 1 minus 1 in the sense like when you uh, when you insert the pipe if you mention the 100 a minimum 100 of length of the pipe will be created Uh, of course you can change the length but i don't don't, don't want that i just want uh, like when i insert it it has to be a just a spot so that i can extend it to how much ever i want okay so this of what is what is of okay of is the thickness of the pipe that is uh, 3.38 i hope i am not wrong okay you can just man uh, like refer the standard of asme and mention the thickness okay we have mentioned the diameter we have mentioned the thickness so i'll just save it to the catalog okay it is saying matching pipe od is not correct okay so the matching pipe od you have to mention is from the you can click first here show advanced edit table so here if you scroll down you can see that matching pipe od what is the matching pipe od like whatever the pipe connects here what has to be matching pipe od that is same as the thing 33.4 so this is for one side and you have to do the same for the other side uh, where is the one more side okay yeah also not worry because we have mentioned all ports are same so just hide it and save it Mm, yeah so now it has saved 
so well, you can see that this pipe which we had created has been added to the catalog so you can use the same pipe you know in our spec so what how do I add it to my spec so I'll just click it click the thing and click the part here right click and add to the spec then I have to select the spec then click on OK and next when you come here to the spec editor you can see that your spec has been added see since I have created just one size it is showing 25 to 25 if you add at uh, like one and a half inch like 40 then it will say as 25 to 40 size so different components will present here and if you double click you can see you can edit the edit the description everything here as well okay but this won't get edited in the catalog catalog will remain the same if you just want to edit something here you can but it won't get edited in the catalog okay so now uh, let us add uh, save this first you can you can save you have two options here save and save all okay next uh, what next step is to add this spec in our plan 3d project so I'll open my plan 3d project uh, okay so here is the spec specs these are the just the standard spec in the plan 3d which are great which gets created okay so here I have to add the spec so how do I add I'll just right click new spec no I have I have uh, already created spec if you want to create a new spec you can just right click here and click on new spec and the same procedure from the beginning will come up okay so but I wanted to teach you like how to copy a spec as well so I just created a spec directly from the spec editor so I want to copy a spec copy then go to that spec location this is the location here is my spec test spec so there is 16 okay it's 12 past so 16 October open okay I think it's added yeah it's added here so let us see if it is working fine by opening some of our files piping let's open the piping file it's exactly a year since I have opened the file it's 2023 now okay yeah mm, okay so here we have a spec selection will test spec is here yes see here you can see in the tool palette we just have one component that is spec so I hope now you understand how the spec get displayed here so from the spec editor okay so let's add it's just you can add it from the spec editor table as well or as from the tool palette I'll just show you from the spec editor here see one inch small bore pipe long description insert uh, let me just expand click see perfectly our pipe is coming if you remember we had set the minimum distance as 25 I'll first mention as 10 see it's not taking not accepting the 10 value now I'll just uh, put at 25 see it has accepted so I hope you understand this part uh, here if you see we have added um, yeah, minimum cut length that is 25 so it is taking as 25 See, if I add again for your understanding if I add 20 no it won't take it will take 25 minimum or a greater value of that something like 200 yes it will take see uh, and the OD which we have mentioned was 33.4 it is 33.4 perfect 200 length I have given now so it's 200 so our component has been successfully added and it is working fine let's move on for the next component so now let us create an elbow so I'll go back to the spec editor here it is so let us create a new elbow now so create elbow then fittings fittings if you go what do you want okay yeah nothing to select here matrix 25 size an elbow 
n type n type will be socket weld then sw elbow okay and next we have to select a graphic so yeah bend sw fpt press okay create so it has been created you can see here sw elbow has been added so general properties see as i explained as to the pipe this remains the same okay the path angle what is this 90 degree and some extra extra standard and properties will be there for elbows see, this is 90 degree elbow so we will just mention a 90 degree angle and next pressure factors everything it remains the same I'll just write a step to elbow and next plan standard and schedule or a schedule or schedule is 40 um, all ports same yes then we'll go to the size size is 25 all ports are same a long description a one inch sw elbow okay item cut curved radius uh, this things you do not uh, mention that so here here comes the part uh, main part like what is that od od will remain 33.4 d2 what is d2 d2 is the other end 33.4 same what is the radius uh, is it 1d if it is 1d what do you what will be mentioned same as 33.4 what is a angle it's 90 offset nothing but the thickness thickness we can mention it as 3.38 so l1 okay, you have to check this in the standard so let me just check okay l1 is 22 30 34 35 35 as per the standard then i1 i1 is 12.5 L2, L2 is also same. 35. I2, I2 is also same. That is 12.5. So yeah, this is it. Again, you have to mention the uh, matching pipe OD. That is 33.4. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so you can hide it and save. so this has been saved so you right click you add it to the spec uh yeah okay now go back to the spec you can see there is a separate only row created for the elbow and our elbow has been added so i'll just save it and i'll go back to my project see right now it is not being displayed what you have to do just change it to some other spec come back to the same spec uh okay it's not been saved okay i'll just save it once more yeah the first what you have to do now is spec update okay it's plan spec update check and there is no spec update okay Just spec. So you can go here. Right click. Okay. So what you have to do is to go here. Right click. Then. Ah. Okay. See what the thing is. We have editors edited a spec which is located in this location. what you have to do is once you have created a part and you have added the spec you have to open that spec and edit it okay i am not editing this spec actually i am editing the spec which is in the default location yeah so what i'll do now is i'll just remove this spec it's not okay it's in use okay i'll just remove this spec and again add the spec which is present in the uh, copy spec in the default location yeah okay. this is being edited so i'll just open it
you need not do that copying the spec again and again you next time what you have to do is you just have to right click and edit the spec directly this so that the changes get displayed okay so now I'll just go to the spec yes you can see we have an elbow here insert elbow let me see if it is coming properly yep it's coming here now if I have to extract a pipe see it's perfectly getting extracted yeah okay so this was also success see if you click and go to the properties uh, you can see that SW the long description the short description and everything you can change these things from here so no need to worry see this manufacturer item code everything was present in our spec editor so if you had mentioned there it will automatically be in the, being uh, like be displayed here okay so yeah so let us keep it uh, keep uh, let us uh, end this video here so that uh, this doesn't go too long and you feel bored or something so, so I hope you understood about the spec creation like at least the basic part uh, and also before I end this video like one thing which we have forgot that is the uh, adding the the ISO type and ISO symbol S key this is important when we create the isometrics so I won't be telling you what should this uh, what will be the SQ now this will be assignment for you guys all you have to do is just uh, just go into the any other socket will elbow present in the catalog if it is and you just have to copy the same symbol and the SQ and same goes for the pipe go to this pipe anything uh, like ah, okay I have shown you here only you just have to copy the same ISO symbol type to the other pipe and just I want you guys to find out what is the S key and ISO symbol type for the elbow okay and just comment whatever you find out okay in the comment section so I hope you understood about the about the spec creation so in the next video we'll go like uh, something deep dive into the spec creation what I'll do is I'll I'll uh, I'll get a chart proper chart of spec and we'll refer those chart and create some more components like valve reducers uh, reducers and more some complicated parts and also like we'll create a, a custom part where you have to model the part first then convert it to a uh, 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 spec uh, spec component okay that will be a fun part so I hope before we go to that part you guys will practice this and you get you have you will understand and if you have any doubts from this video you can just comment in the comment section so hopefully I can clarify them let us meet in the next video till then goodbye